so guys welcome back to another video and uh, yeah first of all it's been a long time since i made a video right it's been like two weeks since i made a video uh, that's because as i said before in one of my videos uh, i'm kind of working on a longer video guys uh, a video that will show you how to build an app from uh, start to finish okay a flutter app from start to finish so uh, a lot of people have started to ask uh, why you haven't been making any videos and all that so i thought i'll just make a quick uh, ui design video today for you guys but uh, i just wanted you guys to know that i am kind of working on that longer video and uh, so yeah that's the reason why i wasn't able to upload a video in the past couple of weeks i've also been working with a few uh, companies on a few projects so yeah that was too much workload guys that's my point Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and try to recreate this design. Okay, the original design was this one. These three screens. We'll be doing all these three screens, or at least these two screens. This is just a list view, right? Or uh, we'll be doing at least these two screens. Today we'll do this one. Okay, so I'll just uh, you know uh, get a bigger version of that. All right. Now in this design, if you notice carefully, there are three uh, major parts. One is this uh, top bar. and the other one is it contains a search bar a menu button and a shopping cart button and it also has a uh, has several tabs and uh, this section has uh, uh, a set of scrollable cards and uh, this section has some uh, small uh, a set of tiles that has just an image and a price tag and it also has a small banner like thing that shows the uh, percentage of discount or the deal that you would be getting on this particular fruit item so yeah let's go ahead and try to recreate this entire uh, design guys first we'll start with the uh, top bar part okay so i have a blank app that i have scaffolded uh, just now and inside the assets directory i have a couple of i mean i have a set of images i also have the quicksand font which i'll be using for this particular project in the pubspec.yml file i have included all those images and uh, not only that i have included my font as well all right now that all that's done let's just get started and uh, write some code first i'll remove the banner debug banner fonts okay now uh, uh, inside this scaffold i'll just start off with the body list view i'll use a list view so that i don't get the overflow issue and uh, in say this uh, the first one i'll be using a row so first i'll have a small sized box so that uh, sorry sized box height would be some 10 units fine and uh, after that i'll uh, have a row children and say this i'll simply give a uh, icon button icon button uh, icon icon sorry icon icon start uh, menu color color start gray contrast i won't do anything for now and after this i need a search bar right uh, this is what we are doing this we have done now we need the search bar and uh, we need a shopping cart icon at the uh, end so for the search bar it's a custom search bar right it has some rounded edges a prefix icon and some area to type some text so i'll use a container uh, height some 50 units uh, width would be some 200 units and uh, uh decoration box decoration box decoration uh color color start gray
All right, guys. Uh, now, as you can see here, we have just uh, created this text field, and we also have an icon button here as well. Let's just run it on a mobile device and see how it looks. Wow, it looks really good, right? Uh, except the fact that since it's a row, we can simply main axis alignment, main axis alignment dot uh, space between. Cool. Now you get this uh, similar looking uh, UI screen, right? We have a menu button at the left, uh, search button, uh, I mean search field, search text field in the center and a shopping cart button at the uh, end. All right. Now let's just go ahead and uh, try to recreate this uh, tabbed interface. Okay. So in order to do that, let's get back into our code first and then uh, here we would need to create a tab controller obviously. So for that we need to extend this with single ticker provider uh, state mixin. Single tick, sorry, ticker provider state mixin. And uh, I'll create a controller for the tab controller, tab controller uh, in its state obviously. Uh, uh, tab controller equals uh, tab controller sorry tab controller we sync this uh, length would be four right so th there are just four tabs right yeah four tabs now uh, the next thing we'll be doing is we'll be creating these tabs itself so to do that what i'll do is i'll get in here uh, after this row i'll go ahead and first i need to add some text i guess there was a text right let me just check yeah we have a text called all foods so let me just go ahead and add that text first all right, that text is now been added. If we save this, you can see the uh, text on the mobile device as well. Okay, you can't see the text on the mobile device since for some reason, uh, yeah, now you can see this, right? You can see the, uh, the hot reload was a bit slow, guys. But anyway, you can see that uh, the text has been added as well. Now let's go ahead and uh, do the tabs. So after this padding, all we need to do is create another padding so that there is some space uniformity. Padding, uh, edge insets dot all, edge insets dot only, top some 10 units, fine. And uh, uh, child would be, as you guessed, it would be a tab bar, tab bar and then say the tab bar will be specifying some options tab controller and uh, after this uh, uh, indicator color colors not transparent uh, label color colors dot black and uh, unselected label color unselected label color colors dot gray dot with opacity some 0.6 i'll give some 0.6 and uh, is scrollable true so that it doesn't give me an overflow issue then i'll have the tabs itself tabs will be uh, text tabs right this is going to be just going to be some text tabs so i'll uh, pause the video recording here add those tabs and then resume recording fine i have added those tabs we probably need to hot restart this app since we have written an in, init state uh, method for this particular uh, file, right? So what I'll do is I'll restart. All right, now as you can see here, uh, we have these nice looking tabs available on our mobile device as well, right? And they scroll as we tap through them. Anyway, let's uh, go ahead and uh, do this card now. So in order to do this card, first we need to have a specific area inside which we'll be uh, showing our uh, tab content right so after this tab bar uh, uh, sorry after this padding i'll just uh, have a container for long time watchers of this channel you might already be familiar with all these that i'm doing now but for the new subscribers for our new friends 
height mm, media query dot off context dot uh, size dot height minus 375 units this 375 or 200 or 100 all those depends on what comes after this particular card here we have this section right so for this section some uh, a small quantity of uh, space would be more than enough uh, so i just gave 375 you'll uh, get that way as you write more and more uh, i mean as you design more and more ui stuff guys okay no issues regarding that and after this uh, i'll do child tab bar view and uh, this is where we will be making use of our controller in order to specify which tab bar we should be uh, focusing on and the children will be uh, nothing but the pages that need to be shown for each tab so i'll just have one page I'll just create one page now. Uh, fruits, fruits dot dot. Fine. And inside this, I'll do, do stateful widget. STF. Stateful widget. Fruits, fruits page. Uh, here I'll just. Material. Fine. And uh, now that I have a page, I can simply call that here, right? Uh, new fruits page I have four tabs so I have four instances of this particular page and uh, sorry I forgot to save that save it and inside the fruits page now uh, this is where we are going to be designing that particular card so uh, what to do so I'll have a list view. I'll have this return a list view. It's a horizontally scrollable list view, right? List view. Uh, scroll direction. Axis dot horizontal. Horizontal. And uh, uh, children. This will be a widget. And uh, here I'll write return this from another function. So this function will be widget build uh, food card fine and uh, inside this this will accept some arguments string image path what are all the stuff we need image path price and we have this description big description thing and uh, that's about it right so image path string price string description and uh, string we will need a card color as well since there are multiple card colors card color fine and here i'll just uh, return a padding padding and inside this padding i'll simply do padding edge insets dot all edge insets dot all uh, 12 units maybe and uh, and you child container uh, height 100 units with 200 units and uh, decoration would be we need to round off those edges as well right decoration box decoration box decoration and uh, color would be color int dot parse this uh, color would accept an integer guys that's why i'm just using int dot parse card sorry card card color fine and uh, what else this is the card that we are creating we need to round off those edges as well right border radius border radius dot circular uh, some 15 units fine since it's going to be a big card anyway uh, and after this mm, just the box decoration is done right after this we will need a child this child will be a column since we are going to be uh, having uh, a, a list of data a set of data arranged one below the other it will it, we can simply use a column right column sorry 
column and this column will have children wait oh, okay sorry fine uh, now we have this image we have brought in brought in this image next we need this price and this uh, description as well right so let's go ahead and do that so in order to do that uh, those two are just text right so i'll just skip i mean pause the video recording here and then uh, bring in those two texts and then uh, resume video recording from there on fine as you can see here i have the price and the description nothing fancy in this case i'm just using a couple of text widgets that's it now after once i have added the, those two i just need to go ahead and add this button right add to cart button so i'll go ahead and do that now add to cart button is nothing but an inkwell uh, a container that's wrapped inside an inkwell that's it right so after the sized box all i need to do is sync well on tap fine now we have a container uh, that will act, act as a button nothing fancy in this case i just have a container that will act as a button okay so if we run this now oh no we won't get anything obviously since we haven't called this function anywhere right so i'll just go ahead and call it here uh, build food card and i just need to give these uh, input parameters right just hold on a minute guys all right uh, uh, first of all i apologize for the background noise cause someone just uh, uh, started off a motor in my uh, neighborhood and it's like uh, anyway let's get back to our video guys uh here we have this nice looking food card i just realized that i didn't uh, record the previous uh, time when i showed try to show you the tabs anyway you can see that we now have the tabs and uh, we also have these nice looking food cards that you can scroll uh, and uh, these tabs work fine as well right so all right now that we have finished this uh, entire uh, section let's just go ahead and do this and uh, finish off this particular uh, screen now all we need is a uh, text first and then i'll show you how to uh, do these tiles these tiles are nothing but simple images with a uh, small uh, price tag the important thing here is this particular uh, badge that's being thrown upon this particular uh, tile so uh, not this particular tile all the tiles so let's go ahead and do that uh, i'll get back in here and then first i'll do the te text the li line of text okay fine that is done as you can see here that is done now uh, the next thing we need to do is this tiles right so these tiles are nothing but a list view horizontally scrollable list view so as usual like i showed in the food cart we'll just wait all right this is done now you can see that i have created a uh, build food item uh, function that will return a stack and for those of you who didn't understand i'll just explain this quickly uh, this stack contains a base element a base container that has some height of some uh, where is it 125 units okay a square shape shaped container and inside that container i am having a small uh, smaller container that's just about 25 inches uh, i mean 20 units height and uh, 
has a width of 25 units that is nothing but the uh, small thing that's behind here you can see this right wait i'll show you uh, here you can see that there is a small curved thing behind here right that's the one that's uh, this position widget gives that small curved like thing and uh, this position widget which contains the column is nothing but the uh, uh, main tile that has this image and the price tag and then we are placing another uh, container on top of this widget that will display the uh, discount applied on this particular uh, fruit item so that i am having here okay uh, let's save this and see how this looks on the mobile device wow it looks really good right the only thing that's missing here is the uh, small uh, stuff that we have had in the back just wait guys i just made a small mistake here the border radius shouldn't be for everything right otherwise it will cover the back okay except for the top right i am just giving border radius for everything and uh, if you look at it now you can see that the badge is uh, rounded at all the three edges but on one edge it's simply uh, protruding right it, it isn't rounded it just has a sharp edge so that edge we can uh, place the this wait i'll show you where is it this small thing will be placed on that edge and uh, which means that wait so if we just reduce this with 220 now you can see that uh, small uh, you understand right this is the one that's being placed at the uh, bottom guys in the stack uh, in a stack the children get uh, stacked on top of each other right so this is the first child and i'm giving it a width of 25 units and uh, this thicker orange color and uh, here if i give it a width of 20 units then obviously it will be in the same location since this position widget uh, left this position hasn't changed right this is left 15 units and here as well it's left 15 units but uh, the width is changing so obviously uh, the one at the bottom which has 25 units width will be wider than the one at the top that's why it's getting shown like this and uh, i have rounded all the three edges of that uh, widget on the top uh, and uh, uh, so that it looks as if it is uh, thrown up on over the top of the tile you understand right i am simply trying to recreate this effect guys that's it and the effect has been recreated as you can uh, see on this mobile device on the mobile device this image looks really good i don't know how far this is uh, visible i mean this effect looks really good i don't know how far this is prominent in the uh, video anyway yeah guys this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today we have simply recreated this entire uh, design now we have this nice looking uh, top section and we have a tabbed interface and not only that we have this nice looking tiles as well right so yeah this is exactly what i wanted to show you guys today i uh, hope this video was helpful guys uh, sorry in between i had to simply cut off the audio track since there was too much uh, background noise anyway uh, as i was saying before my uh, uh, longer video on how to build a complete app from scratch start to finish uh, would be released soon i am obviously working on that uh, i have recorded a large amount of uh, uh, section for that but i haven't yet started editing all those so uh, yeah once i finish editing i'll probably release it in one or two parts maybe if it's too long if not i'll just release it in uh, as a, release it as a single video okay so yeah guys stay tuned for that as well subscribe to this channel if you found this content really helpful uh, and if you would like to uh, learn more about app development i'm going to go on the path of app development not on the path of youtubers okay uh, generally people just keep on meddling with the beginner videos but i'm just you know trying to progress on the path of app development anyway yeah guys uh, hit like if you hit thumbs up if you really like this video hit subscribe uh, if you like what i'm doing on this channel and uh, if you want to watch more really i mean uh, really cool content like this kindly tap on the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on any of my content so yeah guys that's exactly what i wanted to show you guys and uh, yeah i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye